someone has a video problem and we spend probably more time than we normally would to fix it, we want to make sure that they don't lose because their video is terrible. Yeah, like yeah, yours. thank you very much. For whatever yeah. reason, I guess that ground station was having trouble filtering it out. Yeah, you saw me last time. At a recent multi-GP regional championship, sadly, a pilot experienced exceptionally poor video reception that plagued his chances at winning. It is agreed that this pilot, under better circumstances, would have been a contender. And while we are not here to attack anyone, we feel forced to address the blame being put on anything but the pilot's equipment. This was prompted by the release of DVR footage. Fact number one. All pilots were to run 200 milliwatts after the local chapter organizer released that requirement. While we believe more power, more problems, we recently ran similar events on 200 milliwatts with this channel array and exact ground stations and antenna without issue. Fact number two. The channel array was proven at 200 milliwatts two weeks earlier. Fact number three. The actual event winner used the same ground station and channel throughout the event. Fact number four. The event team worked with this pilot excessively, 10 minutes of diagnosis, changed heat groups three times, and even channels. Fact number five, the event team claimed faulty VTX or antenna. Not only is this corroborated via video quality, but the IRC LAP RF timing system RSSI data showed he had the weakest signal quality when passing the gate compared to other pilots. Fact number six, the pilot claims they only had two good rounds of video, Ironically, the two times they connected to the ground stations. Immersion RC LAP RF RSSI timing data. The other pilots had 50 to 100% stronger signal strengths while passing. Other pilots didn't have the same issues on the same two channels. Even the winner was on the same channel and ground station.
If experienced event organizers tell you, it's your equipment, check your antenna or VTX, it is probably the antenna or VTX. If pilots in heat before you or after yours all day have no issues, it also leads to your gear being the issue. If you change heat groups and the issue persists, it is definitely your gear. Event organizers are here to help, and 95% of the time, it's pilot gear.